guys, how's it going? I call it the Chocolate Lovers Protein Pancakes. The basis of the recipe is not my own. I've seen it on a ton of websites, toneitup.com, Truly Jess, uh, my fellow vlogger here on YouTube, she has made the same recipe, but I add different things to make it my own. So let's get to it. <laughs> items in the recipe. I used collagen sport and Belgian chocolate. It is gluten free. It was sent to me by this company and I absolutely love it. I have it in vanilla and in the Belgian chocolate. It's super super great for your skin and your hair, uh, ligaments and tendons. There's 30 grams of protein in here and 123 grams, 123 calories. And I'm almost done actually. It's super delicious when you mix it into dishes like this. I found this Chia Goodness Chocolates Gluten Free Raw. That was at Vitamin Shop. And I'm like, ooh, chia seeds. And I love freaking chia seeds. I was like, what is this? And in this ingredient, uh, chia, buckwheat, hemp, organic cocoa, raw organic cocoa nibs, dates, almonds, evaporated cane juice, and Celtic sea salt. And it's actually really amazing and delicious inside. And it actually says that you can just make this for breakfast, adding water and letting it sit because chia seeds soak up. I did not like the consistency of it, so I found a better home to use these in my protein pancakes. And I only used one tablespoon, and the serving size is actually two tablespoons, but um, I wanted to cut the calories and the fat because in two tablespoons, it's 130 calories, seven grams of fat, and five grams of protein. I used one tablespoon because I didn't want all the extra calories, and it is good fat, but since I was using hemp seeds and the eggs and all the other stuff, it equaled out to really good fat. And this is optional, but I also found this hemp seed at a uh, vitamin shop. And it says your serving size is three tablespoons a day. So I only used one because in three tablespoons, it's 170 calories, 14 grams of fat, 11 grams of protein. And uh, it's, been, it's been really good, the hemp, I have to say. I use a lot of flaxseed, but the hemp, it smells good and you can't really taste it. So this is definitely going to be one of my new things. Hope you guys try this recipe or experiment using other things. I would love to know. Please let me know in the comments down below. I should have another cooking video up soon. Talk to you guys soon.